Hi, my name is Lee Denecker. I'm one of the aquarists and divers, marine biologists at the Two Oceans Aquarium. My job here is to specifically look after the shark exhibits, one of them being my shy shark and cat shark exhibit. Uh, with these animals I do what we call target training, which involves holding a small black and white checkered board up and allowing the animals to swim to the board. When they swim to the board, they get rewarded with their food. Their food includes pilchard, hake, some squid on occasion, also some prawn and white mussel, so we keep their diet nice and varied. One of the things you might observe when I approach the water is the sharks will begin to do what we call spy hopping. This involves them lifting their heads out the water, swimming around what seems to be quite, quite frantically or even excitedly. And this is a behavior observed also in other shark species as well as some marine mammals. And this allows the animal to just become familiar with the environment outside or above the water. And the reason we do this target training is so that should we need to remove the animal from the water for any reason, whether it be for a treatment or medical procedure, it allows the animal to just swim up to us. We can just grab them out of the water rather than chase after them with a net to avoid stressing the animal out more than we need to. Another thing that's very important with target training any animal is to never take away their freedom. So particularly when you do start handling the animal or holding the animal, you want to make sure that you don't put your arms around it too tightly or grip it too tightly. You must always have choice and the freedom to move away from you should it want to. This allows you to build a level of trust with the shark and also just make it easy for you to handle them when you need to and once again just minimize their stress. I've learned so much from working with these animals. They are incredibly unique and every individual appears to have their own personality as such, which you would not expect for something like a shark, but they do indeed appear to have uh, unique behaviors and characteristics, which makes my job really, really exciting. And I feel like I also develop personal relationships with the animals, which is really, really something special.